Friends, how many of you know that how to find a Spearman's rank correlation? Because uh, correlation and regression, as we know, is uh, one of the important chapter of statistics. And every year uh, we get questions from this particular chapter. And uh, this particular question, uh, this came in June 2023 in MCO 03. And I would request all the students who are appearing for MCO 03 and MCO 22. I mean second semester and third semester both the students should know should learn uh, how to calculate this Spearman's uh, rank correlation. So this question came in June 2023 where physics and maths marks are given of uh, I think uh, nine students. So let's try to find out the uh, Spearman's rank correlation and uh, first of all write down the formula of this. You can denote this by R or sigma, uh, 1 minus 6 sigma d square divided by n into n square minus 1. So this is the formula that we generally use for Spearman's rank correlation. And uh, we need to, I mean here d we need to find out, n stands for number of students. There are 9 number of students. It's very simple, very easy. Okay, so okay, so let's start. First, we will find out. Uh, let's first of all uh, uh, gi uh, give the ranks to both of this. Let physics be given the rank of x and uh, maths be y. Now find out x minus y. Okay, so 35 minus 30, you get 5. 23 minus 33 you get minus 10 be very particular because this is smaller number this is bigger number 47 minus 45 is 2 then 17 minus 23 is minus 6 then we have 10 minus 8 2 uh, then 43 minus 49 so it becomes minus 6 9 minus 12 is minus 3 then we have 6 minus 4 that equal to 2 28 minus 31 that will give you minus 3 so this is the difference this is called d this is called d the difference between the ranks okay so this is d for difference between the ranks and uh, now we you need to find d square so basically we do the square to remove all these uh, you know signs minus signs so 5 square is 25, minus 10 square is 100, 2 square is 4, minus 6 square is 36, 2 square again 4, minus 36 square is, minus 6 square is 36, minus 3 square is 9, uh, 2 square is 4 and minus 3 square is 9. So now what you have to do, uh, you need to add this. So that you get sigma d square. Sigma stands for the sum total of. So I think uh, the total will be uh, 227. Okay, 227 if I am not wrong. Uh, now let's put this value in this formula. And here 1 minus now 6 into sigma d square so sigma d square is 227 so 6 into 227 now n means number of students that is 9 and uh, here n square n square that means uh, 9 square so that will give you 81 minus 1 uh, now minus 6 into 227 whole divided by 9 into 80 so you need to solve this and I have actually uh, solved this in my uh, this thing uh, in the copy so I will tell you the final answer that is approximately uh, minus 0 0.68 so this is the answer that you are going to get and uh, here minus that means the negative sign so it implies that the relation is negatively skewed okay 
so this is how you need to find out uh, by using spearman's uh, correlation and very simple these two quantities will be given to you find the difference x minus y then make the square of this learn this formula put the values get the answer it is so simple as easy as eating a cake so friends uh, that's all in this video and uh, i will uh, uh, see you in the next video with a, a new question till then practice this type of questions and uh, thank you very much for watching this video